A key factor in managing yourself and your emotions is consciously taking the time to be interested in the subject matter, whether it is in business or personal. How is it true? How can it be true that if I take an interest in something or somebody, I am able to manage myself well? In this episode, we will see that elaborately. My name is Brinda Kalyan Raman. I am founder of EQMQ Business Hub for Women, helping them achieve freedom using emotional intelligence and digital entrepreneurship. This is one such initiative and you are watching EQ 101 Hacks to Improve Emotional Intelligence. We have seen first step towards emotional intelligence, that is how to develop your self-awareness towards emotions. And what are the benefits? What are the possible tools, techniques, hacks? Now we are seeing how to manage your emotions well so that you'll be able to take effective decisions and be able to influence others and yourself well and be able to live a quality life with a better health, better relationship. So what is self-management? It's the ability to regulate one's emotions, thoughts, behaviors to work effectively in different situations. If a person is able to manage their self well, that means they are able to manage their time well, they are able to manage their stress well, they are organized whether at home or work, their organizing skills are extraordinary, um, they also can solve a problem, they can think critically, they can think short term, long term, see larger perspectives both for themselves and for people around, they are able to make greater choices in life, thereby they are going to reap a lot of benefits uh, having better quality of life, better relationship, better communication, uh, better promotion, career enhancement, etc. But for you to have all this, you need to go from point A to point B, which means you need to act on it. And for you to act on it, for you to cultivate the ability, you need a drive within you. You need an energy. You need to be agile. You need that vitality in you to and you know progress yourself whenever you're stuck you need to have the drive within you which is going to propel you forward without any external support in self management being motivated is a very important element think about those moments you made greater choices in life be it education or career option or choosing a life partner business partnership any venture what was driving you? Did you enjoy the process? Most of the times, even if the results are not as much as we wanted, at least we would have enjoyed the process because there was so much life within us. There was so much energy for us to enjoy the process more than the destination. So that is self-motivation then. But if you want to relive, if you want to regain that power within you right now, how would you recreate that? Because in this modern world, it is even more needed that we need to be updated, upgraded and constantly on the move. So what is going to keep us unstuck? It is the self-motivation which is going to keep us moving. I always think about politicians. You know, they don't retire in life. I always fascinate about their interest in politics. What keeps them going? Even though there are a lot of failures, not everybody becomes a party leader. Not everybody becomes a candidate. Not everybody becomes Prime Minister of India. So what keeps them going? It's the interest in the subject. There are two ways to look at this. Cultivating interest in the person or cultivating interest in the subject is going to help you keep progressing. Is going to help you keep growing. We will see how to cultivate that interest. Because... It could be so that we would have lost that habit of being interested in something or somebody. But if you imagine those moments, all of us would have gone through this when you were in courtship, just before the marriage. It was so easy for us to be interested in the other person, right? There was no push from anybody from our family or nobody is telling us to do what we want to do. We were so interested. We took effort day in and day out in our thoughts, in our behaviors in our approach if you want to recreate that interest in you if you want to recreate that energy that vitality that liveliness in you you got to cultivate that interest 
to help you move towards your goal. In this episode, we'll see how cultivating interest is going to help you both for yourself and for people around you. Because remember, emotional intelligence is not just how well you manage your own emotions. It is also how well you're able to manage others' emotions so that they don't come on your way to your success. Now we will see some quick tips to cultivate the habit of developing the interest in you. The first thing is to slow down. I know it's a little counterintuitive, but you need to slow down. You need to get off the treadmill if you want to observe things around you. Only when you observe more, listen more, you may be able to find clues as to what interests you. So it is very important to build that silence. Only in those moments of silence, you are able to draw inspiration. I know it's not always easy to slow down, but little changes to your lifestyle can go a long way. Uh, maybe taking plenty of rest, plenty of water, keeping yourself hydrated, eating good quality food, moving your body. In the previous episodes, we discussed good lot of hacks where you're able to transform your emotions, transition from one emotion to another using your body. I would highly recommend you to go through all that so that it's easy for you to connect. Or even a simple mindfulness technique meditation can take you a long way to connect with your interest area. When you're able to nurture your mind, body and soul, you will feel more energized and creatively inspired. The second step is to list down. You have started to slow down and started taking time for yourself. Now what? You will take notice of little things that comes on your way which is going to give you some happiness. You're going to journal that. Make a list of items. You're going to list activities that energize you when you do them. Is it talking to people or is it writing? Is it doing a work at your desk? Or is it networking? Is it watching movie or listening to music or even cooking? Over the next one week period, you're going to grab a journal and record how you feel when you perform those activities. It is going to give you double benefits. One, you're able to list down all those possible activities, possible options that you have to find your interest area and also emotions attached to it. Because if you find not so good emotions attached to any particular activity, you're only going to negate. You're only going to pick up those one which gives you more joy. It will definitely help you march towards your purpose or your passion area. If you want, I would highly recommend you to go through the uh, journaling activities that we did in the self-awareness videos. Um, I would highly recommend you to go through all those before you come to this self-management. It is also important that you would have done the basic, you know, idea of bringing that awareness, labeling your emotions, recording through journaling and all that, which is helping you not just here in also in the next step towards emotional intelligence. I will also give you another hack. If you're not very clear about those activities which is going to energize you, the interest area, walk into a bookstore and see which section is actually gravitating you. Is it a cooking session or is it traveling or is it about science, fiction, etc. It may be a good hack for you to narrow down your interest area. And also, the more you develop research and seeking in, in that particular subject area, you're going to develop your passion in it. As against the old age saying goes, instead of finding your passion, you're going to cultivate the passion area by finding those topics that you're interested, spending time and efforts in it by going, you know, deeper into the subject area. The third step is to go deeper into it. Now that you have started paying attention to all those activities which is interesting you, which is helping you energized, you have to keep doing more of them and stop doing those which is draining you off. In my case, I went wider. I believed jack of all trade will definitely help me narrow down my niche. I know down the lane somewhere I have to ma I have to be the master of one. But I never stopped myself plunging into being a jack of all trade. That means I never stopped myself exploring a lot of dimensions around my interest area. I never deviated. In fact, like how I learned yoga from my school days, even now I do it, that has led me go deeper into spirituality, which in turn led me to go to many energy spots. The sheer joy in doing, spending 
time, money and effort in uh, going to those places itself has kept me going. So I still remember those times, those days, evergreen. Similarly, in personal development area, I spent a lot of money, time and effort learning myself, equipping myself. I've been a lifelong learner for a long time now, even now, and will be. Six, seven years before, the reach of YouTube or social media wasn't there. Despite of it, I had been to a lot of experiential learning. I wanted to always grow myself from within. That is actually helping me right now in my business. Because that's where I met my mentors. That's where I saw a network of people, a great associations of like-minded people. Which I'm amazed to see that I'm able to draw inspiration from all those learning that I learned even today. So give yourself permission to explore down these roads. You will start narrowing down more towards your interest area. Some interest will lead you to your passion and some won't. But nevertheless, you will not have the guilt of making a mistake because it's a sheer joy in performing those activities that will help you keep going. It's those actions that you have taken is going to inform you where you meant to go. The point is, the more you develop interest, the more it keeps you going. The next step is to reach out and be part of great associations. Once you narrow down the interest area, it is very, very important to stay there, maintain your interest in the same stream of line. Because before narrowing down, you may be able to explore. But then once it is time for you to get masterful, it is important you narrow down. Or in other words, it's niching. Finding that unique aspect, that unique area of interest and keep developing it more. The key element to maintain your interest and grow from there is to be part of great associations. Be sure you're surrounded by like-minded people. They say your environment is more stronger than your willpower. No matter how you want to propel forward, your environment, the ambience around you, it, it could be social media, it could be clubs that you're associated, it could be your own family, it could be your spouse, it could be your kids, it could be your friends, it could be anything that you are built around you. Make sure that your environment is surrounded by success minded and then reach out, be the first to reach out, ask for help. Don't wait for somebody to help you. Create that interest, cultivate that inquisitiveness for you to reach out and ask people the right questions. How did they transition from this stage to that? And what were their day-to-day -day activities? What were their personality? What were their challenges? This way, you're going to help yourself learn more about that field or that person or that subject. The next step is to being open and flexible always. You may be fixed with your vision, but your method can be different. Many times we are stuck with the path. We think this is the way out. And then even our own interest is not interesting anymore. So it is very important to be flexible and open always without attaching any benefits to where you will end up. It's the sheer process of being interested because you should remember that you're, you're in the process of managing your emotions. If you're able to manage your emotions by cultivating the interest in that subject, you will see you've already transitioned from the position of being stuck. So if you have to manage yourself well, you will have to move from one emotion to another. So this hack of being interested, cultivating the interest in you will definitely help you move from being stuck towards your goal. So far we saw how to cultivate that habit of getting interested within you so that you're able to propel forward, you don't get stuck. But what if in the process of you moving forward, you get stuck because of other person? So self-management is not just managing your own emotions well, it is also about managing the emotions of others. I'll tell you why. Because we don't live in isolation. We don't live in a wild forest all alone, right? We live in a family. We, live, you know, we work in an organization where there are a lot of people around us. We work in a team. It is very important to build that harmony within yourself and also with others. So we will see how this habit of cultivating interest is going to help us build a successful relationship. Building a successful relationship is the ability to show a sincere interest about both the parties. Let's say you went for a social gathering. You meet this person called Anna. She gives undivided attention to you. She asks about your family, culture, uh, your interest area. And she also, uh, you know, concludes the conversation with a warm smile. 
she extends her uh, you know handshake how do you feel about this and you're meeting another person called joe he barely acknowledges your existence he doesn't smile he doesn't even remember your name even after you've introduced yourself to him he does not even want to answer your questions he barely looks at you even if you were paid a hundred thousand dollars how would you feel working with him so it is very important to create that interest when you're dealing with people around you whether it's at work your boss or your team member your colleague or inside your family friends especially with family spouse and kids it's vital element for you to create this interest inquisitiveness so let's quickly discuss number of ways to express that interest in you so that it lands in the other person correctly the first thing is to use their name whether it's written verbal or chat any messages any form of communication call people by their name and they will like it when you're meeting for the first time or repeated make sure you call them by name and you will see how easily they get attracted to you you know there's a famous book by dale carnegie where he says if you want to make friends you make a point to remember them by calling their name the next time when you meet them when you do that you're actually giving them a subtle compliment by saying hey you know what i remember you and i also remember your name that means i value you i make you feel important this will definitely keep your conversations warm and strong next is to listen with interest there's a difference between simply listening and listening with deep interest listening with the deep interest itself means that you care for that person next is to ask questions a great way to demonstrate interest is to ask questions asking questions is only going to stimulate the willingness and interest in the other party to talk about their interest and themselves it could be simply like you know if you meet your colleague on a, a monday morning you can always ask them how did they spend a weekend with their family or it can be questions about their health personal issues next is to acknowledge people when you acknowledge people you recognize their value and importance it's like hugging your child before they go to school or saying a good morning to your colleague or simple warm smile you extend when you walk in the morning when you see somebody walking along with you or how about acknowledging your spouse for cooking a great dish or keeping your house clean simple thing can take you a long way next point is to show respect when you respect someone you're actually expressing your actions or expressing the interest in them think about this when somebody shows respect to you how would you feel about them on the other hand when people don't respect you how do you feel about them inside you it's the same way the next one is old fashioned way but my most favorite one one of the best way to demonstrate the importance of a relationship is to call somebody just to check how they're doing in life or just to say a hi i receive very few calls from those who don't have self serving agenda but those who call me have genuine interest in me they care about me and they stand out in my mind think about this how many people do you frequently call just to check how they are doing in life not with any agenda attached next is offering genuine compliment it can be a little tricky but if you manage it well it works like a charm when people offer genuine compliments to you how does it make you feel about them are you not naturally drawn to those who speak positive of you if you take 10 seconds time of yours to offer genuine compliment to somebody it you know the interest that you have shown to them can grow a long way and it makes a huge impact in the relationship between you and them next is to encourage people when you encourage somebody when you motivate somebody you're actually lifting up their spirits you're boosting their self confidence to do more perhaps more than anything else if you are able to offer that hope and inspiration to somebody it is definitely going to enhance their life how often do we do this it hardly takes 10 seconds how wonderful the world would be when we motivate each other when you show an interest in others and things that are important to them they will like to in turn show the same interest in you and things that are important to you and that's how it's going to complement the relationship that's how we manage our emotion stress well within ourselves and also with others i hope you found this video interesting 
and to show your interest please hit that love button to show more love and support and hit that bell icon to get notified for future episode subscribe to this channel stay tuned until i see you in the next episode bye bye take care